Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Moscow says one soldier is missing after a missile hit Russia's hugely important Navy headquarters in Sevastopol in Crimea. <laughs> Here, a video circulating on social media which shows plumes of smoke billowing out of the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. The Russian installed governor of Sevastopol has warned residents to stay away from the city center. Ukraine has carried out several attacks on Crimea this month, destroying a Russian air defense system and damaging a ship and a submarine in a dry dock. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and his wife Elena have arrived in Canada to be met by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Zelensky is in Canada to address the Canadian Parliament in Ottawa. While in Canada, Zelensky will also visit Toronto to meet with Canadian business leaders to strengthen private sector investment in Ukraine's future. In June, Trudeau made an unannounced trip to wartime Kyiv, where he paid his respects at a memorial to Ukrainian soldiers killed fighting pro-Russian forces since 2014. Meanwhile, Justin Trudeau has reiterated that there are credible reasons to believe that Indian agents may have been behind the murder of a Sikh separatist on Canadian soil. He first made the allegation on Monday, which India has strongly rejected, calling them absurd. Hardeep Singh Nijar, who India designated a terrorist in 2020, was shot dead outside a temple in June. Tensions between the two countries have flared after the allegation. Agents of the government of India were involved in the killing of a Canadian on Canadian soil. That is something of the utmost and foundational importance in a country of rule of law, in a world where international rules-based order matters. We have um, a rigorous and independent uh, justice system and robust processes that will follow their course and we call upon the government of India to engage with us to move forward on getting to the truth of this matter. A dispute between Poland and Ukraine over grain imports will not significantly affect the country's good bilateral relations. That's according to the Polish president as he moved to ease tensions over the issue. Duda, who was speaking to Polish and Ukrainian entrepreneurs at the Congress for Reconstruction of Ukraine in Poznan, said cooperation between Poland and Ukraine had a historical dimension and the latest exchanges between the two countries took place at a time of strong human emotions. Poland decided last week to extend a ban on Ukrainian grain imports, shaking Kyiv's relationship with their staunchest ally. 57 sub-Saharan African men have been picked up by Spanish coast guards after they were found in a wooden boat in the Atlantic Ocean nine miles from the island of Gran Canaria. The Salvamar Macondo maritime rescue vessel transferred them to the port of Guinaguin, where they arrived after 9 a.m. local time. The Red Cross provided them with medical assistance and said four people were treated at the dock, but none required hospitalization. There were tears of joy in Brasilia as indigenous groups erupted in celebration after a majority on Brazil's Supreme Court voted against a cut-off date limiting indigenous land claims. <laughs> Members from groups across Brazil started chanting and hugging each other after the top court said six of its 11 justices rejected that deadline on the grounds that it was unconstitutional. The restriction was sought by the country's powerful farm lobby to block rights to land that indigenous people did not live on in 1988. And King Charles and Queen Camilla greeted crowds at the town hall in Bordeaux for the final day of their state visit to France. The royal couple were also set to visit a British frigate moored on the river of the southwestern city to discuss defence cooperation and a wine-producing chateau. They spent the first two days of their stay in Paris, visiting Notre Dame Cathedral and attending a banquet at Versailles, hosted by the French President Emmanuel Macron. The visit aims to boost relations after several tense years over the negotiation of Britain's exit in 2020 from the European Union. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.